we're going to talk about some new covers, winter covers we have here. This is a, I call them a Velcro cover. It's a vinyl fabric cover and inside of here is uh, pink styrofoam for insulation and they wrap around the uh, snug fit around a colony and all of the and the construction is and in all the corners it's uh, threaded sewn and on the bottom it's sewn I think we want to put this on the bottom so that any moisture can't get up inside here and on the top it's folded over and it's a nice smooth finish and you can't get any moisture or anything in there uh, these are available in 10 frame and then over here I have a this is an 8 frame and here is a 5 over 5 nuke and all of these have a velcro seal on them so you can just wrap them around your whatever you're covering push it down and just uh, uh, close with the velcro strip same thing this is the 10 frame same thing we're just uh, pulling back the velcro so when you put something like this on you can now you put the velcro on the front or the back it doesn't make any difference but to actually to put this on just wrap it around pull it snug and tight and that's it that's all it takes to put that on it should be down probably a little bit more to allow for the telescoping cover to go on so for winter you'd want to have it set up like this I like putting a couple sticks on here just so airflow can get on top of our moisture board here I have a the hive here inner cover the moisture board just two random sticks that I have and then this would go right on top of there I would push it forward there'd be a little air gap right up here and put a heavy rock on here now air could get up underneath there and uh, wick away the moisture that gets on that moisture board. Now, if a person was wanted to put a top entrance in here, I have laid out a hole here already for our corresponding hole that's right here. That's a one inch hole I have. I have one in the bottom that's already corked, but the top cork, the top one right there. So I did lay out a hole here and I think an easy way to do it, I've tried it a couple different ways. Razor blade knife. And I have this laid out here and I think you can just cut into the vinyl. Don't get your hand behind there. There will be a lot of bleeding. So you just penetrate the vinyl and then there's the pink styrofoam on the inside. And I made this hole, it's about an inch and a half. I just took a lid off of a flip top lids about an inch and a half. So I just used one of those to give me the circle. And just cut into this pink styrofoam. And then I can just push this into the vinyl. Don't cut yourself. Keep your finger away from the blade. Now I can just feel what, where the hole is here. I can just feel it right here.
clean it up a little bit. And then to finish it off, a person could use, and I've done, I've kind of tried a couple things. I tried, I think duct tape is not good for this because it won't stick as well. I could think a person could use Gorilla Tape. And I've done a Gorilla Tape where I put in a half amount of Gorilla Tape right here, another part on top, and I've snipped the excess, and then I could fold the, or fold those pieces down flat. Same on the inside. And then I've taken a piece of Gorilla Tape then go over the top of the whole piece. And then I've, I've, then I, on the Gorilla Tape, I would cut this way like a plus sign. And on the back side, the back side now, I'd make an X. And then I just push the flaps in. And then, uh, and then I'd, I think if you hit it with a, uh, hot, a hot air hair dryer, will get that sticky and it'll stick a little better. But I think a better way is to use silicone. And I have some, just some black. I want to get black. And this is just 100% silicone. And all I, all I do is just take a, a glove like this. And I think what works, what's important is to pull back this fabric because the fabric's a little floppy here. So I think if you pull it back and we'll just put some put some silicone behind there and it's then it'll act like an adhesive and uh, and it'll hold that I'm, I'm physically putting it right on the styrofoam on the back side there and I'm going to do it on both sides inside and outside And then we know that it will, uh, it should hold really well. Okay, then when you got that, before this gets out of control and you, and it's really messy, now you just take it and just dab it in there, build it up a little bit, seal off all of your all of the open gaps so water won't get in there and the thing I like about the silicone it'll be nice and black and the bees will land on it and the heat will be on the from the sun will be shining on it and it'll keep it nice and warm and the bees won't get won't get chilled and then I'll even bring it out a little bit it's not pretty Pretty is not in the bee vocabulary. And then I just want to make sure I've had this pushed tight against it, front and back. Okay. And if you want to, you could probably give this two coats if you wanted to at a later time. But that's basically it. So we're going to let that set up. In the meantime, I have another one that I've made. This is the one I've already done with Velcro. Or I'm sorry, with silicone. And I put this on the, on the same side here. And it doesn't matter which side that you put it on, if it's on the back side or anything. This one just happens, I did this one, it happens to be on the front. So I'm gonna put this around here, just wrap it. There, I can feel my hole there. I'm gonna pull her tight. I am lined up really nice on my hole. I put my two sticks on here. Heavy rock to keep that from getting blown off. There's a slight gap. If a person wanted to move this up a little bit, you could. If you're doing it on three deeps, if you find that it's sliding down and not being really snug on there and you got three deeps, because this only covers two deeps, you could take uh, some sheetrock screws or some type of screws and just put them underneath. Don't push them through here. Just put them underneath to help hold the sweat up. So I'd put two on each side, one here, one here, same on the other side. That would hold the weight and it wouldn't slide down. But these are some new covers. I think they're really innovative. They, they store flat. They are 
seem to be resilient and they should work very well from year to year and uh, help stop uh, air infiltration of wind blowing into the hive and hopefully it'll keep the bees nice, snug, and warm for the winter. Uh, well, very good. Thanks for watching.